that's going to work. And uh, just for an FYI, you're uh, coming down the uh, South uh, Pacific Ocean, just passing. Uh, you just passed over Japan a little while ago. Gonna leave that long. You wanna yeah, pull it I like to uh, pull it up a little, and it'll suck it into the truss a bit. That'll probably be a lot better. How about that? Thank you, sir. Oh, you're quite welcome. Are you still ready to the APFR? Well, we'll see in a minute. Looks like it. Well, I am. I just don't like that. I don't like that better going over my head like that, so let me get that sorted out for a minute. Okay, copy that. I'm going to have to go to the other side completely. But if I do that, I'm going to learn now. Now you're like three and a half, four feet. All right, let's see if it's going to it's gonna come back. Give me a minute. I'll work on that. Okay. Your safety tether may clear above those antennas from where it is. Well, we'll take a look. Lead. You, think, you know what? It's better, though, if I just drop this fair lead right here. I think it'll be a lot cleaner. The International Space Station is currently flying 260 miles across uh, the west coast of France. That's just a suggestion. Uh, you have some room there and you can actually get close to where you're trying to work. And uh, we think you're in a better position now than you were. So you feel, feel free to try this and you got your right hand right there. Uh, so you might be able to apply a bit more force. And one other option, just spin 180 out and kind of wedge yourself down in there and get up close. The uh, Weta has been uh, temporarily stowed uh, with tethers. Uh, so that Wiseman uh, can apply force in working in tandem with Butch Wilmore uh, to try to uh, secure the uh, camera stanchion. Okay, guys, outstanding work. We're at about 549 PET. What we're thinking is having Butch carry the ORU bag back and having Reed uh, carry back, go back and pick up his uh, crew lock bag and head on back to the airlock. We are ready to declare victory.